Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what I have here. I have an original second run uh, Star Wars movie poster. This is from 1982 and uh, it was a second run. It, it was hanging in movie theaters right before uh, Revenge of the Jedi came out. But I want to, uh, I've been wanting to frame this poster for a while and so that's what I'm going to do today. So there really are a large number of poster frames you can purchase. Now, for these original movie posters, uh, they are actually pretty darn large. They are 27 inches wide and 41 inches tall. So uh, a lot of your selection of frames kind of diminishes, but I did uh, want to try out uh, this brand, which is the Snap Ezo brand. And so we'll open this up and show you what's inside. So here it is. This is actually from the back. I have to remove it from the plastic. Now one of the things about, I did order this from Amazon and I actually ordered two of them and uh, one of them actually came damaged. You can see that it's kind of a flimsy package and any uh, damage to the outside will cause damage to the backing boards and the covers and that's what happened with the other one. So that's one of, uh, when looking at the reviews on Amazon about this product, one of the complaints was the packaging and how a number of these were delivered da uh, damaged. But Amazon was really good about it. Uh, I returned the damaged one and they sent me a new one. Okay, so I took it out of the plastic. Now on the back, you will see a protective uh, layer. This is what goes on the poster frame itself. Now this one right here is the glossy PVC cover. It is UV protected uh, and you, it actually comes with two covers. Uh, one on back which is the, the glossy PVC cover and one that's in front uh, which is the anti-glare one. And I'll show you what both looks like uh, once I get this assembled. And here's the frame flipped over. Now there are some little instructions right here. It's pretty darn easy, so we'll cover that today. Uh, it also comes with some uh, some screws with some uh, fasteners here and also some hooks to hang it on. I'll show you kind of how that works in a bit. And so the really cool part about the Snap Ezo uh, frames is you just, it, they're really easy to put in your posters and you just kind of flip up these little lips just like this and you can see you put your poster in there's this little uh, here is the anti-glare you can kind of see it's not that shiny it's anti-glare so this is the anti-glare cover right here again it's UV protected and here it is with all the flaps opened and the little cover removed and you can see um, if you look here there are holes uh, like there's three on this side three on the other side and three on the bottom and you could actually use those to actually screw it in to the wall so it's really secure I'm just going to use these little hangers but those only hang from the top uh, if you want them really secure you could actually use uh, let's see, 12 screws or maybe less to secure to the wall from these little holes. But you have to do that before you put in the poster itself. And then you put it in the poster while it's on the wall. Okay, so I, here I've laid down my poster just kind of setting in here. Now, if you look at the corners here, let me lift this up a little bit you can see that there's a little bit of an indentation and in general that's meant for where your poster is supposed to lie. Now um, I did notice that this is exactly like exactly 27 inches wide 41 inches high and a couple of my posters actually were perhaps a millimeter or more over that measurement and so they they extend a little bit beyond this little lip so it would be nice if they would give a little fudge factor so the edge wouldn't have to sit over this lip but it is what it is so the next thing we do is we're going to put the protective cover on and I've selected to do the glossy one again I'll show you what uh, the anti-glare one looks like in a bit so you're going to notice on the protective layers that uh, there's little film that you have to peel off before you actually put it on your poster. And for the glossy one, it says peel here and you just peel this off. It's actually, you peel uh, 
two sides. So there's a protective layer on both sides. Now for the anti-glare one, you can see it's, it's kind of opaque here. Uh, it's all, only on one side. And so the side you peel, I believe, is, is the side that touches your poster. And the opposite side, the side which is more texturized, that's going to be uh, on the uh, exposed. Again, I'm going to be using the glossy one for this example. And uh, you want to peel this off. Uh, in a dust-free environment, if you have cats, dogs, etc., just try to clean things up and keep this off the ground because there's a lot of static electricity that uh, on, on these uh, covers, and it'll attract dust and uh, and pet hair. So when you peel this off, make sure it doesn't touch anything until you put it down. Okay, and peeling this thing off, you could definitely feel the static electricity coming off of it. So we're just going to lay it down for now, just over the poster. So this is probably the trickiest part of the whole process, is you want to kind of uh, lift up your poster and the protective uh, glass, or excuse me, it's not glass, it's PVC, the protective layer, and just kind of match the corners as best you can of all four sides, and try to work it in to that little groove area. like that, and try to match that on all four corners of your poster. Okay, and with that done, you just have to snap down these little sides. And you just want to do it nice and gentle. You don't want to do it really, it's a little bit springy, so it could just snap really hard. But just try to do it nice and gently. Try not to let your poster and your protective layer um, move while you're doing this. And, w and especially with the corners. Now, I chose the, uh, the black powdered coat, and that can chip, especially on the corners. So just uh, be aware to try to uh, protect these corners as you snap these down. And there you go. The poster is officially in the poster frame. So here I flip the poster frame over to kind of show you what these fasteners or these hooks, hanging hooks look like. And again, you would just use uh, the, uh, the screws and fasteners that come with your kit. Uh, put these in your wall uh, and then you could just hook this over the screws so they're kind of face down uh, and out. And so when you hook your frame, you can see it just hooks under this lip here and uh, hangs from the top. And so I won't do that today, but uh, you could do just, just make sure when you install these uh, that the height of each one is level. And you could probably just measure uh, from the top as a guide to uh, where these should be installed. Okay, so I did tell you that I would compare the glossy with the, the anti-glare, and you can see the difference. Um, I think the glossy uh, brings out the color a lot better, but you do get that kind of mirror image that uh, a lot of people may not like. Uh, the anti-glare does do kind of an anti-glare, but it does kind of wash out a little bit of the image, and you can see that uh, it, it, you could visually see kind of a texture on that. And so it, it's really a preference um, and kind of where the poster is hung. Uh, I'm not sure which one I like better. I think it depends, again, where it's hung. But uh, there is your comparison. So that's all for today. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. And even consider subscribing to my channel. I will have many videos to come. Bye-bye.